Okay, I am back to put the pattern paper on the file folder flipbook that I created. We are going to use this paper pad. It's called Poolside. Um, it was purchased at uh, Walmart, I believe, for like $10. So the paper is like really thin. It's not really thick paper. But I have not really used it, so I thought this would be perfect to use it for this. So I have pre-cut all of the pages, and I cut them a little bit larger, like sixteenths of an inch larger. Um, and then I will just cut around them, just because I don't want any... Um, edges. I don't want a border. I want my pattern paper to be flush with my file folder. So I went over a little bit so I can just trim them off because it'll be easier that way. So I have everything cut. We're going to start with the outside of the book. So I'm just going to use my fabric tack to glue them on and each piece is about um, six and one sixteenth by eight and one sixteenth so it's a little bit larger so this is how I did it I just made sure that I glued the edges really well because I want it to be flat right flush with the edge. Okay, I don't want any kind of a border around my paper or anything. So then I'm going to just try to stick the paper down um, so it sticks over a little bit. That's the thing with the fabric tag. It gives you a little bit of time just to kind of maneuver it around. So, as you can see, I have a little bit of a white border around that, and that's perfect. Because then I'm just going to cut all that extra off. So, we're going to start here, and we're just going to cut this extra off here. off there. Just like that. And then I'm going to use my smaller scissors to cut this little bit out here. I'm going to cut right along the file folder. tricky part because of the round edge there. And just cut that little bit off. There. So there you have that. And we're going to go ahead and do this flap here, the inside and on the outside. So I already have my strip cut for the inside and it is like three-eighths of an inch. Um, just big enough to fit right down in there on the edge there. Um, I am going to go ahead and distress the edges on this one because I won't be able to do it afterwards because of it being on the inside. So 
just going to cut some of these pieces off there. So I'm just going to use my black and I'm just going to distress it a little bit on the edges. blade on my cutting board thingy is, is needs to it needs to be a new one. Alright, so then let's see here. I'm gonna make sure that this is gonna match up with that when I put that on there. So it's to go on like that. So I'm just gonna put some glue here. Place this in here. Just like that. Fit right in there and you'll be able to fold that right up. That's fine. Okay, now we're going to do this piece here, but I'm going to distress de the edge on it before because I won't oops won't be able to get to it. So I'm just gonna distress just the one edge for now. So just like that. Place this piece on there without going over the score line. Make sure you leave that score line open. Just like that. Then you're just going to trim all the extra off. Well that was flush which was nice. Yeah. So we're just gonna cut this extra off before we put the piece on this side. Extra pieces off. I'm just a little bit here. Let's try it from this angle. It's a little harder to do in that round corner elbow there, or whatever you want to call it. So cut that off like that, and you have this. like that. Now we're going to do this side here. So we're going to glue it up. I'm not going to worry about distressing this one because I'll be able to get to it. Um, What I'm going to try and do is put it right at the bottom there I'm, without going over the score line. Yeah, just like that. And then we're just going to cut the remainder of that off. So 
just like that. Like I said, it's hard to do that in the corners there without bending it up too much. Right. Okay, so then you have that. Oops, we forgot this side here. I'm gonna make sure. Make sure that I cut all that extra off there. So then you have that. Now we're going to put our strip right here. And I am going to distress this one because I won't really be able to get to it. So this is like a three-eighths of an inch. It's not quite an inch, so it'll fit down in there. So then we're going to glue this up. sure that it matches up. When I cut this piece, um, I cut this piece before I cut this piece so they would kind of match up a little bit. So now we're going to trim off the little bit extra there that it has. If I can to it. So that piece and that piece there. Now we're going to do the, the, the back piece here and then this last little bit of spine here. So I'm going to go ahead and distress this spine piece real quick. going to place this back piece on here. And this will cover the piece that you glued together. Your pattern paper will cover that. So you won't see that. So then we're going to place this like this, and I'm just going to make sure that it's flush with the um, with the side here. And it's going to hang over a little bit this way, which what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down like that and I'm going to cut that extra off. matches up. So there you have your cover covered. Cover covered. And then all we need to do is just cut that extra off. I want to make sure that make sure that this is all down. So 
So then we're going to cut this off and then we're going to do the inside. Right along the edge. So there you have your outer part of your book is covered. Okay. Perfect. Now we're going to do the inside. So I basically do the inside the same way. Um, just laying the paper on and and then um, and then cutting the edges off. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my pattern paper on and when I get to this point here, I will show you, stop the video um, or start the video up again and show you how to do how I did my pocket here. So, um, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, I have um, put the pattern paper on the pages just like I did the cover and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this one here. So first of all, I already have my piece cut out and this is actually eight in three eighths uh, by six and one sixteenth of an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my pocket first. Um, I have distressed the bottom edge there. So then I'm just going to glue up my pocket here like this and I'm going to just put the paper on top of it just like I did all the rest making sure that I have this corner over here making sure I have it right on the corner and on the edge of the pocket so just like that. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just cut it off of my pocket there. like that. And then I'm going to cut this a little bit off here on this edge of the pocket. And then I'm going to make sure I have it facing in the right direction and I'm going to go just distress this edge here. And then I'm going to mark this because I don't want to over glue. So I'm going to mark this with a pencil here just so I know I don't want to go over. I don't want to over glue and glue my pocket closed. So I'm just going to put a little light line there. And then we're just going to glue this up. Is real good. I want my paper to come up. So then once you have that all glued up, you're going to make sure that you have it right flush with the edge on the top and then without going over the score line there. Just like that. Sure. So then, like 
going to fold this back like that. And we're going to cut that extra off there. Like that. So then when you fold your pocket up, it goes down into your pocket a little bit. So before you glue your pocket down, you want to make sure that you de-stress if you're going to distress the edges before gluing it down. thin line of glue on the edges of the pocket here. Thin edges, thin strip of glue, and then right along the edges, and then you just close it up there. So that is how you create the pocket there, and how I put my pattern paper on. Now the next step, what I'm going to do is I'm going to round the edges here, here, and on my pages. So if you have a corner punch or whatever, you can use that. If, want, if you want, I'm going to use my cloud scissors and I'm just going to cut the corners off to round the corners of my pages and of my outer part of my book. Just like that. And then my next step would be to uh, distress everything with my black ink. Um, before I embellish it, so what I would do is just take my ink and just distress all the edges. This is an added step. This isn't something that you would have to do if you didn't want to do that on your pages. Just depends on what you like and what you prefer to do. So that's why you want to make sure you do your inside pieces um, or edges before you glue it on so you don't have to worry about the inside pieces or the inside edges and you can just go through them after you cut everything and distress it then that way. Just like that. Let's see, did we get everything on the inside? Yeah, so then if you wanted to do the outside, you would do the outside too.
take out everything. So there's how you put your pattern paper on your file folder flipbook. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments, um, just leave them down below. And the next video will be of my embellishing. I just have to figure out what I'm going to put on it for my um, embellishments. So until next time, bye.